Oh, my name is Martin Turner. I am the secretary of Lap Macquarie Handball Club. Lap Macquarie has a rich history in this area. It's been around for about 150 years. The first known recorded handball was in 1869, when uh, about a mile from here, on the top of a hill called Lactor, there's an old handball wall. During the 1920s and 30s, many, mostly men, would have played a handball up against their gable wall at their houses. And it wasn't until 1957 where the first committee was actually formed. Um, with my own grandfather being one of the founding members, Frank McChrystal. Um, other men such as um, John Corden, Peter Corden, Michael John Kelly, Q.E. Duff, all started the first committee. And since that there, Hamble has really thrived in this area. The legacy started um, in, I suppose, 1969 when the first um, um, 60 by 30 large court was built, followed by the 40 by 20, the one we're in now at the moment. It was built in 1981 and then it culminated in the development of the one wall outdoor arena close to um, the football pitch in 2014. Um, in terms of success, this club has a lot of success and throughout the years. The first success was in 1973 with uh, Mickey Conway. He won the first All-Ireland Junior title. He was the first person from Tyrone to win and Lap McRae to win a national title. Since then, we've other notable little um, winners down throughout the ages. We've got um, in 1987 and 1986 and 87, we had Kieran Corden, who was the first juvenile to win under 14 and under 16, All Ireland's and 40 by 20 and 60 by 30. We also had Brian Donaghy um, in the 40 by 20 and 60 by 30 in 2003, and we also had Aoife Kelly and Maria Fox winning titles as well. In the Fiona Gill, we also have a thing called the Skills Competition, and this club has been very blessed with some very naturally. Um, natural talent. We've won the skills competition on a number of times. The first person to win it was Kieran Corn, who won it for three consecutive years um, in the 80s. Then we had his brother Connell Corn take it home the title and we also had Lisa McAleer won the skills title, Aoife Kelly and most recently Anton Fox won the skills title. Other notable achievements would have been in 1980 to help build this um, court we had an 80 hour marathon where six men from the club played for 24 hours to raise money to help build this premises? Uh, well, we have um, fantastic facilities that, um, that are the envy of many clubs in Ireland here with the 40 by 20 court, the 60 by 30 court, and the, 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 the one wall complex, which has three one wall uh, courts inside it. Um, we're, we're continually looking ahead. We're, look, we're actually looking to, to, to renovate and refurbish our 60 by 30 court as the next stage, probably. Um, we're, we've got ambitions at the moment to um, down the line to have a second 40 by 20 court because of the amount of people who are looking to use the court here. Um, so the, the, we will continually um, try and improve the facilities and because the demand is there, the, the amount of people playing the game, the amount of people who have an interest in handball, and that's never going to change in McCrory, that's always, that interest and demand for handball is always going to be here because it's, 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 built, it's an inbuilt thing in Loch McCrory. Everybody tries handball and all their parents want their children to try it out. So we, we will continue to try and improve the facilities, we'll continue to try and provide um, the best facilities we can for the local people in this area. And, um, and we have we have ambitions on the court. We want a lot of people to see a lot of people play in handball um, long term. But we also want to achieve more success, and that's why you know we have we, we, we believe we've good structures in place here that will help to bring young players through and um, and achieve success at Ulster on a learned level and world level. Obviously, we have we have a we have a history of, of world success as well. So. Long term, we, we, we can see a lot of success down the line. It's not, as I keep, I keep stress, it's not all about success, but we have to keep trying. Um, and if we have players that are good enough to achieve success at the highest level, that's what we have to try and make sure happens. We're very um, proud of the fact too that our humble club um, plays a, a massive part in the, in the, in the community life in Loch McCurry here. Um, because with so many players playing and, and so many players taking interest, so many people in the community taking interest in handball, with a lot of parents who, who are popping in with their children for coaching sessions. Um, I think the people in Lama Cree generally are proud of the, the, the history that handball has in Lama Cree and the, and the fact that, I mean, Lama Cree is, 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 no, is, is known throughout Ireland um, for handball, and that's gone back over many years. So, uh, so this, I mean, it's a, we provide a very healthy, um, pastime for local children here and nearly everybody in Loch McCrory, young and old, has tried handball at some stage. So um, everybody understands the game of handball here in this part of the world. Um, some people try it and they leave it again, they go on to other things obviously and a lot of people come and go. Um, but the handball's always here and everybody tries it and there's, there's, a, there's, a, 
there's a real interest in it for young and old. Everybody, everybody in Nath McCrory is proud of this Hamble Club and what it has achieved and where it is today.